Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, in order not to start too late, I think we start right now. Um, we are having here a, a quite an interesting panel. It's very, very international. And um, I'd like to welcome uh, here first on the left-hand side, this is Lissy Youngma from the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam. She had the shortest way to come here. Uh, <laughs> then uh, we do have on her left-hand side, we do have, uh, is I, am I pronouncing right, Li, Liang? Yes, exactly. Liang from Taiwan. Uh, he had quite a long trip to come here and he's going to talk together with Venus about uh, cooperation with GLAMS in Asia. Then we do have, a little bit closer by, we do have Eva and Alexandra in Poland. They are joining us via Skype. And uh, then we have um, Jane here, from originally from the States, but now living 30 years over here. She's trying to give us a good um, uh, viewpoint uh, um, throughout the, the panel. She's my right hand, you know, so I feel kind of comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then uh, myself, I'm Barbara Fischer from Wikimedia Deutschland, working as a GLAM curator over there. And our main question of today is, what we try to figure out together, is um, why aren't the GLAMs really chasing us to collaborate with us? That, that's the, the question we, we have. And we try to figure that out by being together here with two GLAM representatives like Lissy Youngma and Evan Alexandra. And uh, yes, yeah, yeah, you really. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and we also would like really you to join us with your experience and your thoughts about what we are discussing here. So please feel free to talk. And we start now, I think. I think the best thing would be we start with Eva and Alexandra that are um, going to talk about a new in platform they have created in Poland, uh, an open, well, inspired by Vicky Loves Monuments, but now please listen to Eva and Alexandra. Hello. Can, hello. Can you hear us? Is it? Yes. Okay. Yep. That's perfect. We are very happy to be with you and it's a lovely day here in Warsaw today. Um, so we will just uh, ask Barbara if you could change our slides. That's going to be much easier for us. So I'm Alexandra Janus and this is Eva Majdecka. And can we ask another slide? So we're going to share with you some basic info about what we do in our institution. So we work at a digital center in Poland, which is a glam focused think tank. And so we're going to present more glam perspective. And we work towards social change and enhancing citizens' participation through the use of digital technologies and open cooperative models based on sharing knowledge and other resources. So our works and projects uh, fall into four main categories, but we're going to focus on the last one. So first of all, we work in the field of open government. We work in the field of open NGO and open science, but <clears throat> we are focused more and more on open culture and we are interested in the ways that the technological development have influenced society and the new culture that arises in a new digital environment. We diagnose, interpret and share the knowledge and resources. And the basis for all our work and projects is the idea of openness, which means the availability of resources and promoting models of cooperation based on them. And we are institutional partner of Creative Commons Poland, founding member of the Community Association, founding member of Polish Coalition of Open Education, and member of Copyright for Creativity Coalition. And today we're going to tell you a few words about the project and platform that we are running since 2012. It's called Open Monuments Project. So the project was inspired by Wiki Loves Monuments and it is all about building citizens' engagement with the use of cultural heritage data. With the help of crowdsourcing model and offline initiatives, we are improving the data and developing tools and ways of making use of them. Can we have another slide? Uh, the goal of Open Monuments Project so, is to engage citizens in using, reusing, correcting and collecting 
open data about cultural heritage objects in Poland. We are building through our crowdsourcing platform of open monuments on data from the official register of the historical objects and buildings that was opened for us by the National Heritage Board of Poland. So we have been running the project since the spring 2012 and we have received broad interest from media, NGOs, individuals, who are sharing with us data, information and photos uh, of cultural heritage. The action we have organized in summer 2012 was the first crowdsourcing action in, of such scale in Poland. So in, we, we have been inspired by the popularity of Wikilove's monuments, but wh what's the reason why we've decided to focus on heritage data. So we began working with heritage data in par parallel with other open data projects related to areas traditionally defined as open government community as key areas of interest in, in particular data of public finances and local municipal data. But we have decided to focus on heritage data of this uh, uh, National Register of uh, Heritage Objects and Buildings because of its potential to build engagement by virtue of heritage being close to many people's hearts. So our project is the biggest civic crowdsourcing initiative in, Pol initiative in Poland and it is the first project combining heritage and new technologies. Uh, and we are also creating the biggest repository of open, accessible and easy to use information about national heritage in Poland combined with tools that are increasing citizens' engagement. In the area of cultural and civic activities, we want to build a methodology for engagement through a range of activities, mainly cultural in character. Our project is built on a conceptual frame in which public data becomes a basic frame to which many other different activities can be attached. The goal of these activities is to make this data more useful or to create means of engagement with this data and resources. So we've uh, focused on organizing uh, crowdsourcing actions in order to improve this public data set uh, about the heritage, uh, national heritage. We are building functionalities on the top of uh, this data set in the form of widgets, external websites and communicate with other databases via uh, API. And we are organizing a wide range of cultural activities, ranging from workshop, workshops, uh, heritage sightseeing walks, urban field games, and many others. So we believe that the significance of this type of resources is that it can build engagement because it's close to hearts, the hearts of citizens. Alexandra, and you will just, have to yes. shorten in a little bit. Okay. Uh, so uh, you can ask whether such platform is needed while you have Wikipedia. Uh, obviously, we encourage users to use Wikipedia and link to it and share information. But why we actually decided to build another platform? Um, can you change the slide, please? Um, so, yeah, what is similar and what is different to Wikipedia? Uh, so first, first of all, for us, um, similarities are uh, Creative Commons by SIA license. So we share that strategy of uh, openness in culture. And the second one is crowdsourcing. So like Wikipedia, um, Open Monuments Project is as well collecting uh, data, information, knowledge uh, from citizens. Um, but um, actually, we think that the end of similarities uh, we find more differences, which are, uh, first of all, it's uh, interface. Uh, we think that um, Open Monuments project is more user-friendly, it's easier to use, uh, and it's visually more attractive. Um, so uh, that entrance barrier is uh, lower, in our opinion. Um, and we, uh, we are based on single data set, uh, like Alexandra uh, said, uh, that's, um, that official register of his historical objects and uh, buildings. Um, and uh, we started our so starting point was uh, national crowdsourcing action. Um, and the last one are products that are based on our data set. Um, Open Monuments Project is only the starting point for other activities. So we have mobile and uh, web applications, we have publications, we have uh, tutorials, we have guides, and lots of activities that uh, Alexandra mentioned. Yeah, so can we please have another slide? 
Uh, so we've decided to build this new platform because we wanted to focus on the engagement framework and we wanted to lower entrance barriers. So con we wanted to make contributing to open monuments as easy as possible. And we feel uh, people still feel that becoming a Wikipedia and so contrib contributing to Wikipedia requires to be uh, uh, that one is an expert or perceive uh, themselves as experts to put some information there. And uh, we strongly focus on the educational and community art tools, so to, to foster engagement, and so we publish these materials, tutorials, toolkits, and so on. And we've decided to do it to, um, to make uh, easier for us to, uh, to do community building related to this separate branch subject of open monuments. Uh, can we have another slide? Right? This is now but your last slide. I don't know, yet. apparently you can't see which slide I'm showing to you. This yeah. is now the slide where you find us and we have to come to an oh, end. Okay, so well. the, 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 the previous one. Uh, so there are uh, some, but we would love to cooperate with Wikipedia more efficiently uh, because we gather this data and resources and this is another platform but uh, it serves a similar purpose. So we think collaborating with Wikipedia uh, can, uh, can help us uh, with efficient knowledge transfer, keeping heritage resources circulating, making them accessible as much as possible and we think that it's good for us because we should go where our audience is and obviously uh, our audience is in Wikipedia so what about the treatment Barbara asked us to tell some words yeah. about treatment yeah. yeah so we think that so we don't have any treatment uh, it's more like therapy like the title of panel is because uh, we think that we are not sick maybe we could uh, just live better and um, so Wikipedia is not a universal tool for GLAM uh, projects uh, but it would be or it could be great to improve models of uh, cooperate and content transfer. transfer. Uh, we gather knowledge but we should uh, stimulate knowledge, uh, to knowledge transfer uh, and I think that's the, that's the key part. Uh, what's important not in a technological but in a social uh, sense. And we have uh, only one question for you. Uh, so do you think so uh, what could it be to make it real? And how Wikipedia could um, be a better tool for cooperation with GLAM uh, and with GLAM and not only uh, the encyclopedia. Okay. This Eva and Alexander, thank you a lot for, for your thoughts. Um, and this is exactly what we would like to talk about.